Hey guys, this activity is based on the theme fire. So you'll have some fire pictures around you to use as inspiration to create a sketch on a wooden disc. Now we'll be using py uh, pyrography for this, which is a wood burning tool that gets very hot. There's only four, so I've got a timetable. So um, obviously you'll have a prezzo on this, but you may need to um, allocate time outside of your prezzo, highly likely. So I've got a timetable to for you to book yourself in uh, for using the wood burners to complete this activity. So um, please be mindful of that. There's only four. So maybe if you haven't finished another activity and you're waiting for the wood burning tool, finish another art activity or task that you have. So here's my sketch. When a wood burning tool is available, since there's only four, when, one's, when there's one available, you can put blue tack on the bottom of your disc and place it on a rectangular piece of card. We'll also put a rubber mat, as you can see in the background, on the outdoor tables near the kitchen. So the reason that we put a disc on this rectangular piece of work is because the disc is quite small and I kind of want you to have the ability to move your artwork around if you need to, but without having to have it have your hands close to where, the, where you're using a really hot tool. So here's techniques using the wood burner. Um, the rubber area is where you need to hold. So if you're touching the metal, you will burn your fingers. So please keep your fingers above any metal parts. If you're using the tool for a while, even the base of the um, plastic or the rubber there will get quite warm and you might want to move your fingers even further away. If you burn yourself, go straight to cold water and let a mentor or get someone to let a mentor know. And um, yeah, cold water, straight straight to the cold water. So anyway, after having a little practice on the rectangular board, I'm ready to go in. Always be aware of how your hands are and making sure they're away from the metal piece. Also, please make sure that if, you're, if it's not in use, that you unplug it or switch it off and let a mentor know you know we don't want the sunroom is coming out for lunch and there's these hot things on the table so the slower you move your wood burner the darker the lines you'll get if you leave it on too long it's going to burn a, a hole and it just comes with the tool really um, there's techniques to use it yes but sometimes it will give you marks that you don't perfectly uh, maybe intend on sometimes and you know there's no eraser to get rid of those marks and so you just need to embrace them so you don't need to do a border around it you could do the flames coming from the sides or anywhere um, yeah the border is if, if you've got time and you're feeling like doing one you can so I've just got th three elements that I'm showing you here to get a little bit of an idea anyway I hope you have fun um, please, if you use, are uh, using the wood burning tool um, on the decking tables there or wherever Sarah intends for you to use them, please make sure that there's um, a mentor knows that they're on and so they're able to uh, help you if needed. Okay, I hope you have fun. Um, wood burning is a really good way to need to slow yourself down to get good results. It's not a rushy kind of activity so some people can find it really relaxing so I hope you do all right bye